Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope that everyone's okay. My name is Leanne and here I like to share my life really. So I share a lot of shopping hauls, a little bit of fashion. I'm not a very confident person. So yeah, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but every now and then <laughs> I'll surprise myself and just think, oh, don't worry, it doesn't matter. I am a wife to Martin. I have three grown up daughters. They're all married and not no longer living here. Although I do help out my grandchildren. I have soon to be seven of them. We've most recently just had a newest addition to our family, little Thea. She is so blinking adorable. It is, oh, I just want to squish her. She's so cute. We're all smitten. We're totally, totally smitten with her. She's so beautiful. And yeah, I just love that our family is growing. I tend to try and get at least three videos out a week, which are on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Sometimes there's a surprise video in the mix, depending on what's going on that week. But I tend to try and stick to my um, three a week. I have a lovely bunch of subscribers here. We might not always believe the same things or think the same thing or like the same thing. But what I have found is that we're a very grown up, kind, mature community here. We like to encourage, lift up and support one another. And that is so beautiful to witness. So if it sounds like your cup of tea, hit the subscribe button, we'd love to have you join in, in the comments even if you don't have something to say just let me know that you've been there by leaving a little love heart emoji tell me where you're from i love knowing who's tuning in from around the world it's um so beautiful to watch as my channel's grown how varied it is and i really really love that i have a crazy cat that lives here <laughs> she is bella and she is the most beautiful beautiful little cat ever she's old she's very vocal she likes to announce her presence she is a very demanding diva <laughs> So like I said, it's Saturday. Martin is working this weekend. We actually went out with friends last night for an Indian and it was so nice. There was a couple from church. I feel a little bit like I don't know my place in the world at the moment. So I'm a nana, obviously, but I'm 45. So I'm in this category of no man's land, really, <laughs> because I'm perimenopausal, so I'm starting this crazy journey, and it feels like that for me. I know it's not like that for everyone. This crazy journey of discovering who I am at the same time as I've never been 45 before. <laughs> So there isn't a rule book that says you get to this age and then you've got to do this, that and the other. And I still like to have fun and I am a born again Christian and it is so important in my life. I haven't always been that way, but it's a massive, it is the core of my whole life, the centre of my, my, my world. I can't function without my faith, so um, that's the truth. I never realised how much I needed it until you needed it so I haven't always had the best and easiest life but I have the most amazing family I'm very very blessed in that department I'm very grateful for every day that I have and although I have moments of extreme extreme low I think it's really important mentally to fight that because I think it's very easy to stay in that negative uh, mind can be the cruelest thing in the world it bullies you it knocks you down it wants to shame you by bringing up things from your past and you know and I like to be an encouragement to people so that's just the way I am so sometimes it can seem very scatty on this channel because I share it all warts and all because I think it's really important to normalize that hormone adjustment of life. Life isn't easy for everyone and we go through seasons in our life where it's utterly, utterly terrible and it takes everything in you just to get up and do life. I've been there, I have been there. I don't like dragging up things from my past because I think that it doesn't do you good. I think it's there, I can't change it. It shaped who I am today and for that I will be thankful for because 
without those scars, without those um, lessons and in life, then struggles and everything else, I wouldn't be exactly where I'm supposed to be now with my beautiful family, that I have my grandchildren. So I like to look in the positive of a lot of things. That's not always the case though, and I'm not naive to that. What my struggles are aren't your struggles, and I get that. I have a saying, I've said it a few times on this channel, that we might be in the same storm sometimes, but we're not in the same boat. Everybody's boat is different. I've got a different support network, you might not have any. But that being said, I'm here for you if you ever need anything. Anyhow, so all of that, just to say welcome. <laughs> and I hope you stick around. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because I think it helps my channel. I don't know how or why, um, but other people say it and obviously I'm just copying what they do. <laughs> I don't know what I've got planned today. It's um, a little bit of an iffy day. I'm, I had a really, really low week and I'm totally okay. I'm not, I'm not in that place anymore, but I do feel quite flat still. So I've tried to put the face on today, make myself feel a little bit cute and <laughs> then just sitting around in my slouchies and thought, I thought, you know, sometimes you make an effort a little bit, put your lippy on or whatever and you can just face the world and that's what I'm doing today. I'm faking it till I make it. <laughs> Right, so I don't, yeah, I've got a little bit of tidying up to do. Don't know, I'm hungry, I could do some lunch, but I don't think I have any bread. So I might actually put round to the shops. Plus, I was thinking it might be kind of nice to get a bottle of wine. <laughs> I picked up these yesterday. Some um, little wax melts. They smell so nice. That, that's like a really good summer um, fragrance. It's called Calming Cabana. It looks calming as well. Can't wait to get on a beach. Yum. Right, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll go to the shop, get something to eat. Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. I'll um, check in with you when I'm doing something. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get on with this day. <laughs> So here I am just doing a little bit of a chilled, relaxed vibe cleaning. Some worship music on. You can see me bopping a little bit. <laughs> I've been sharing daily kind of like encouragements, motivation. Sometimes they're just lyrics from a song that I'm enjoying or just some words of encouragement really. And I had a comment from a lovely gentleman called James. He gave me permission to share his message. He commented saying, Hi Leanne, good afternoon. I suffer with mental health issues since my wife Jackie passed away last February at the age of 51. I blamed myself that Jackie passed away because I was her full-time carer for nearly eight years. When Jackie passed away, I hit rock bottom. I had a breakdown and even thought of taking my own life. I went to the doctors and got help. I still have my down days. My advice to anyone who is feeling down is to get help and don't be afraid to ask for help. Have a great weekend with the family. You are not alone. And neither are you, James. And like I said to you, I think your wife would be very proud of you that you are using your pain, your suffering to help and encourage other people. That's a really beautiful, kind thing to do. So thank you so much for sharing that. I hope that you're all doing okay. Let me know in the comments what you've been up to. We have a new addition to our family, little grandbaby. She's so cute. So that is six now. And obviously Jamie Lee is due in a couple of months. It's very exciting.
love these kind of slow productive days where you just get you don't there's no real deep cleaning going on it's just your general everyday clean but you feel like you've made some progress i got on top of all the washing everything was wiped down clean tidy You may be wondering if this is a pair of headphones around my neck. It is not. It is a fan that was kindly gifted to me. I will link it all in the description below if you want to check it out. I do recommend it. It's very powerful. Not too loud. Absolutely great for these days. Well, it's great for the summer. I know it's going to be great for the summer. Aside from being perimenopausal, so having the hot flushes now and again, I am overweight. So doing any kind of strenuous activity like <laughs> running the hoover around wiping the kitchen sides down sorting out washing making beds cleaning the bathroom i get very hot and sweaty this has really helped me today cleaning with this on so i'm very very grateful so i do recommend it if you are at all interested I was very kindly gifted this neck fan. I had one um, that I bought last year, I bought me and Martin one last year. And I have to say, this one is a lot better quality. It's got the amazing fans all the way around the neck, which doesn't suck in my hair, which the other one did. It's a charging port at the back. It has three settings. thumbs up from me <laughs> okie dokie just popped to Sainsbury's Martin actually called me on his way home so quickly whizzed to Sainsbury's just to get a couple of things in for dinner I got three bottles of Pepsi backs because they're still half price thank you to one of my lovely subscribers who gave me the heads up about that I got some more unstoppables Got a bottle of wine. I'm going to actually put that in the fridge now. Okay. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to the video. You know. Okay, okay. Got another comfort because I was getting low on that. These, I think they're called Nui. They were on special offer, so we've got two flavours. So we've got the caramelised salted almond and New Zealand honey. That sounds delicious. And then we got Martin. Yeah. You got the wrong one. What did I get? Coconut and Indian mango. Oh, what? We were supposed to. <laughs> this one sounds nice. Um, it's coconut and Indian mango, but he was supposed to get Texan pecan. Oh well. He obviously wasn't paying attention. Bless him. 
some Doritos because I'm doing nachos, or well, Martin's doing nachos for our dinner today. We're not massively starving, so that that's perfect for us. And then we've got some, this is half price at the moment, and it's our favourite because you don't get the shells of the, you know, popcorn. We don't really love popcorn, absolutely love it, but as soon as you get a shell in your tooth, annoying. So we've got a couple of those. Got a loaf of bread because I was out of bread. And then we got the salsa for the nachos and the sour cream. We don't put anything fancy on it. I don't like guacamole. Um, but we have like jalapenos and stuff, that's fine. And then just got a little egg mayo for sandwiches. That is my haul. No, I'm gonna put this away and then um, I'll catch up with you later. So I decided to run a bubble bath. It'd been a long day and I thought, yeah, I'm just gonna have a nice soak, get all my makeup off, get my pyjamas on. We were gonna have some nachos, which you'll see in a minute, they were so good. That's also in the middle of the week. Had a glass of wine um, with Martin and we actually watched a really good film. It was called The Greatest Hits. It's like t t time traveling. It's really good. Like not, it sounds really geeky and sci-fi, but it's not sci-fi at all. I'll, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. See you soon. Lots and lots of love. God bless.